well as rotating, we can also split objects. So we can actually go in here, split. I can just define a line at random here through this component. Obviously, you can do it more precisely. Choose a side to keep selected, and then simply drag it out of the way. And what I actually end up with is two chairs. But the really key thing to this is I can pick this one up, and even though I've chopped it up, it's not a morph, it's not converted into anything else, it's still a chair. I can actually come in here, we can go to the surfaces, and let's just make some changes. So I'm just randomly picking other colours to see how this might appear. Let's make that bright yellow. Okay, that. And now you can see we have this truly wonderful chair. The other thing we can do is, if we've decided to chop something up and make a real mess of it, at any point in time, I can select them. And we can tell it to remove the cuts. And what that does is revert it back to its original object type. So that's a big advantage over using something like the Morph tool in standard ArchiCAD, because with the Morph tool, you can never go back to the original element type. When this comes in, really pretty handy is rather than chopping chairs up because that's a tad random. What we can do is, is take a look at an example like this. So I've got some steel work. Let's have a look in 3D. And you'll see what I've done is I've corrected these corners. I've added the splits so that this now connects properly. But I haven't yet done the other side. So if I go back, it's a case simply of pick up the component and I am going to split there at 45 degrees, keep that side selected and then delete it. Same here, split, same 45 degrees, keep that side selected, delete that piece and now when I go back to 3D, you'll see this far corner is now corrected.